Where did I end up? And how did I get here? Let's see. I only remember looking for an idea for a new invention. And then... Then... Nothing. And now, I'm stuck in this room. I don't think I've ever been here before, yet the place seems so familiar. Maybe because it reminds me of my current situation. It's so gray and boring. I don't understand. I, Hector May, pride of Arise Bay, inventor with a thousand ideas, but with a colossal creative block. All it would take is a spark, or at least a little inspiration. But wait a minute. That package looks different. What if it's the solution to my problems? Zeman and Born's theories. These are the texts kids read in elementary school, I believe. Zeman and Born's theories. These are the texts kids read in elementary school, I believe. A lot of mathematical formulas. They must have locked some crazy person in here. Wait a minute. That's my handwriting. It says transit, umbra, lux, permanent. The shadow passes. The light remains. Theodore, that scoundrel. The flyers for his event are everywhere. Even here. That thief. He would be nobody without me. But I will have my vengeance, in this life or the next. Look what was hiding behind his poster. I know it by heart now. It says, Introducing the Revolutionary Light Concentrator by Theodore Maidman. Einstein's theory of relativity. He was one of my favorite professors. Einstein's theory. He was one of quantum mechanics, quantum chromodynamics, quantum field theory. Perfect for spending 15 quality minutes every morning. Some of my inventions. Sooner or later, the world will realize their importance. 1962 isn't ready for them yet. The embers are still smoldering beneath the ashes. I could cook something. This is the right place for that thief. I must be hallucinating. Look what was inside the fireplace. Hector May, mighty inventor. It's my bachelor's degree. What was it doing in the fireplace? I don't remember throwing it away. It must have been a moment of madness. I'll try to hang it. 
Maybe it'll be an inspiration. I can read numbers through the holes. Three, seven, ten, and thirteen. I guess it's true that you always need a degree. Could it be three, seven, ten, and thirteen? Jackpot! What's inside it? Who would have thought? A banana picker. There's an H engraved on it. I don't remember inventing that, too. I knew it would come in handy. Here we go. It's beautiful. It might inspire me if I could just touch it. Well, not a great improvement. All that's left of the gift is this red ribbon. Looks like some kind of votive statue. There is some writing too small to read. Wow! I must be in the hereafter. Giant mushrooms. Whenever I had intuitions, there were always some of these nearby. But these are really huge. A lamppost with an old lantern. It would be a good source of light, but it is firmly in place. Of all the doors I would like to open to the world, I think this is the last. Moreover, it is also out of order. I don't even want to imagine what secrets are hidden in there. I wonder about the usefulness of a similar structure in a desert. Privacy? The hands don't move. It almost seems like time is suspended. Inside this shell is moist earth. Inside this shell is moist earth. Flying rocks? Bouncy dentures. Let's hope it doesn't bite me. I could make a wonderful object out of it. I think it's a new work of art from that emerging talent. Andy something. A huge can of bean soup. Now the notion of the wooden structure nearby is much clearer to me. My favorite toy as a child. Better stay away from it. Finally, some directions. Glory. North, south, east, west. Failure. North, south, east, west. No bell, no direction. Present, north. Hmm. Where do I go now? 
I think it's a centuries old tree. Oh, sweet moon. What a fantastic specimen. Hi, I'm Hector May, mighty inventor. It seems to be having some trouble aiming. It's too far away. What should I do? It wouldn't work. It might work. What should I do? What should I do? I don't think so. Let's see. The happy idol will reveal its treasure. He loves the Mayoboku dance. So a dance will make him happy? No problem. Dancing is my jam. I knew my Elvis-like moves would come in handy sooner or later. Treasures surely used to be very strange. Nowadays, a can opener is no longer considered so valuable. I don't think so. It wouldn't. I don't think so. What should I do? Better not to do it. Let's unravel the mystery of this work of art. I didn't expect this. There really are beans. Good idea. They weren't ordinary beans. Maybe there's a golden goose up there. Hey, look! That butterfly again! Wait! Don't run away! Ah! It flew away... again. Yet, something tells me I must manage to catch it. It's very sticky. I don't want to get soiled. Hmm. They look very juicy. Fascinating. Once detached from the branch, they fade away and then grow back on the tree. They look very juicy. Fascinating. Once detached from the branch, they fade away and then grow back on the tree. Hmm. There's a few drops of orange juice. 
I think the butterfly was fond of it. I don't think... Better not to do it. What should I do? These little flames float in the air. Where the hell did I end up? I feel like I'm in a new episode of the Twilight Zone. I can hear a strange gurgling sound. At the bottom, I think I see a cork. It looks like a bottle. I don't think so. What should I do? A trunk! Let's see what it contains. What an unexpected stroke of luck! A very useful... spatula. As well as some formidable wire cutters. Essential for surviving in the desert. All right, let's take it all. Good, so I won't smear myself. Perfect! An unlit lantern. I don't think so. I don't think so. Lightning and dark clouds. I don't know whether to take this as a good or bad omen. It's one of those little spirits that escaped from the chimney. He seems very sleepy. He always looks for dark places. Perhaps the light bothers him. There is a background hum. I think it's the static electricity generated by that storm on the horizon. There is a background hum. I think it's the static electricity generated by that storm on the horizon. I don't think so. Hmm. I don't think so. I don't... What should I... Hmm. What should I do? Better not to... Better not to... Better not to... I don't think... What should I... I don't think... Better not... Hmm... It wouldn't work... I can hear a strange gurgling sound. At the bottom, I think I see a cork. It looks like a bottle.
There's nothing left. Better not to do it. I don't think... I think it's a centuries-old tree. Hmm. What should I do? It wouldn't work. It's a giant frog! Of course. It wouldn't work. What should I do? What should I? Hmm. I don't. Th I don't think so. I don't think so. Better not to... It wouldn't work. Better not... It wouldn't... Better not... The idol revealed to me its great treasure. Better not. It wouldn't. I don't think. What should I? What should I? Better not. I don't think so. Better not. It wouldn't. Hmm. Better not. It wouldn't. What should I do? Let there be light. Where could he have gone?
He keeps running away. I couldn't have imagined the frog's tongue would have such a range. How powerful! He almost took that tree down! That might be a good idea. Another brilliant intuition from yours truly. Some huge glasses. The owner must have been very big. Looks like someone missed the landing. Strange. The visibility here is excellent. I hope it's not toxic. The butterfly seems to be attracted to those bright flowers. Doesn't seem to be attracted to a simple light. Better not to do it. It wouldn't work. I don't... Th I have to pat... An old, inactive fountain. It wouldn't work. I don't think so. Better not. I don't. 